This is what happens when I let Anthony work on his own bike. <laughs> I let him. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garage today with the Road Glide. Today's install, we are putting on highway pegs. If you're new here, welcome. This is Anthony's 2020 Road Glide. For me, this isn't gonna benefit me because I can barely reach his controls since they're forwards and I'm so short. Uh, but we are going on a trip this weekend and we have been we added a tour pack. We are doing a couple of things for comfort for him uh, before we go. So we got another awesome product from Ciro. These are highway pegs and these are frame mounted. Ciro makes a few different styles of this. Um, you can get the ones that mount to your highway bar as well. We went with the frame mounted ones. These work for the touring bikes. Let's unbox this, see what you get, and then we will get down here. <sighs> the Sportster is forever on the lift, so we're just gonna have to sit on the ground again. Before we get going, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the charity build. As always, the links are in the description so you can get your tickets to help the veterans charity that we are donating to. Huge, huge thanks to Ciro. Again, amazing company, great people behind it. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. They have a ton of stuff. They have lighting, they have all kinds of stuff. Make sure you check them out. Use the link below so they know that I sent you. So let's see what we get in here. Okay guys, so this comes in chrome or black. Obviously you know which color we picked. So we got the black ones. It's a black arm and then we also picked, you can pick a few different um, style pegs for this. We chose these just because they, I don't know, just because of the look. You can also get the ones that are a little more wide um, and then there's different styles of this also. We got the all black ones, you can get chrome. So there's just a ton of options. If you go to Ciro and you have any questions, just send them a message. They are super, super helpful. Like I said, Ciro is such a great company. There's such great people behind it. Um, and I just want to send a huge shout out to Ciro again for all the support. We actually got a pair of these, um, a little different style. There's different styles for this too. We got a little bit of a different style of these same pegs for the sporty build. So, um, you will be seeing more of these. So let's see what's in the box. You got all the arms, the mounts, clevis, all the hardware. So we got everything we need for this. And then we got this style peg. And then we have these, but uh, you know, ponytail scale. So this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna say one and a half ponytails. It's pretty straightforward. It's not gonna be too hard. And uh, that's it. So let's get started. We're gonna start on this side and I'm just gonna flip up the floorboard and we're gonna get down to business under here. And make sure this is all cool. Don't go doing this and burn the crap out of yourself right after you get off the bike. We're going for this one right here and we're gonna use a 5 16 Yeah. We're gonna remove this bolt in here now. And that's gonna be a 7 16 wrench and a 3 16 Allen. We're gonna remove this bolt as well. And this one's not gonna be reused. So you're going to know which side is which because 
one will fit and one won't. So we're gonna take the arm and we're gonna put it where we took the last bolt out in the floorboard. And that's where it's gonna go. So we're gonna put this pin back in. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. We got the nut and the bolt that we took off that we're reusing. And we're gonna put that back on. I didn't say it up here, but Loctite, always got some Loctite on this guy. Make sure you use that. And we're gonna install the stock bolt back in here. So this is the arm. It's supposed to go right to the frame. Well, it's too far away. Okay guys, so this is what happens when I let Anthony work on his own bike. He installed the pipes on his bike. Um, I didn't watch him, I didn't record it, I let him do his thing. I didn't realize that he had spacers for the brake side foot controls. A lot of times you get spacers for that when you install an aftermarket pipe. Because of that, the zero arm didn't fit without the spacer and what that meant was since there were two bolts I needed another spacer I could not find one locally so what Anthony did was he made one so he painted it black made one and uh, now we're good to go so I have to get this back apart up until uh, where we left off so <laughs> let's go do that now and hopefully the humidity doesn't kill us before then because it is absolutely disgusting outside and although we put heat in the garage we did not put AC I'm going to put this spacer, this is what came with the pipes to get the foot controls out of the way of the pipes. I'm gonna put that in where it came from. And then my other spacer I'm gonna put in behind the other screw so that they're evenly spaced. And we can get this back on. Don't forget the Loctite. Now, since I'm adding the spacers, I did go out and buy some longer bolts. You might not need to, but if you do have to add spacers because of your exhaust, just check your bolts before you get this all apart because you might need longer ones. Let me show you what I ran into. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't quite make it to the frame so that's why you need the spacers yeah all right that's the torque in reality you should torque this 60 to 80 inch pounds but uh Feels good, feels about 70. We have this part of the arm and the clevis. Now for the clevis, you're gonna notice that there is the screw up here and the other side, they're a little different. You want the screw to be up high. So this is gonna go here, and this is gonna go up there. Now I'm going to put this 
finger tight for now because I'm not sure what angle I want this at. But you got your shorter screw. This is gonna go in this skinnier top half. Here, we're gonna put that together. And again, I'm not gonna make it super tight because I wanna be able to adjust it. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Put this in finger tight. Now we're gonna put the pegs on. We have the D-spring, the foot peg. We're gonna get the D-spring in. Peg in. We got Loctite on our bolt. And that's gonna go right in there. I don't think I'm gonna be successful in picking a good spot. Can't really reach that. I could put it closer to me. I'm probably not gonna be stretching out. I would need it here. I'm gonna have to get him out here because I would need it way back for me. And uh, who am I kidding? I can barely reach the brake. Now we're going to tighten everything up. The humidity is ridiculous. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right guys, it's disgusting outside, so I'm gonna keep this short. Like I said, we're gonna have to wait for Anthony to use this to give his opinions on them while he's riding, but that's not gonna be for a while. So until then, I hope that this was at least helpful for the install and to just get a good idea of um, the product itself. Later on, when Anthony can ride, it's gonna be a few months. Um, he will test them out and let you know his thoughts. But I mean, from just sitting on the bike, it seems like it's gonna be pretty comfortable. Thank you again to Ciro. Make sure you check out the links in the description if you want these for yourself or anything else from Ciro. Um, I also did the cup holder for my bike from them and which I'm really happy with. And uh, we also have one more thing to install from them. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever we put out new videos. And until next time, you ride safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.